if the expected settlement for a proposed structure is too large, then different foundation support such as a deep foundation system, a floating foundation, or soil stabilization option like ground improvement methods such as grouting must be evaluated. Grouting, usually refers to the injection of suspensions, solutions, and emulsions into pores in soils, is commonly used to reduce the permeability and or to increase the strength of soil. But for it to be effective, it must reliably penetrate the ground to the required distance and arrive in a satisfactory state. While permeation grouting is the most common type of grouting used in construction, grout however may be used to displace soils as in compaction and hydrofracture grouting or to replace soils as in jet grouting. Jet grouting offers a process of forming an impermeable barrier, as well as affording a means for supporting or underpinning structures. Jet grouting can also be used in all types of soils and poor soils in relatively inaccessible layers at depth can be replaced. In its simplest form, jet grouting involves an injection pipe using a special drill bit with horizontal and vertical high pressure water jets to excavate through the soil to the required depth. The soil is then subjected to a horizontally rotating jet of water at the same time the soil is mixed with cement grout as the injection pipe is gradually raised. When the grout sets, the end results is a fairly hard impervious column. In granular soils some of the coarsest particles are not removed and are incorporated in the grout. The strategy of a successful grouting program necessitates the selection of a suitable grout material, and the correct drilling equipment, procedures, and grout hole pattern. The grout pattern includes the layout of the holes, the order in which each hole is placed and grouted, and the vertical thickness and sequence of grouting the stages for each hole. The layout of holes may follow some geometric pattern, example staggered, square, rectangular, or this may be modified in relation to the ground condition.